Hello everyone, thank you very much for tuning into the Bob Wall Show. Today I am in Kansas City, Missouri for the American Royal and I am interviewing Bill Arnold, the founder of Blues Hawk Barbecue Sauce. Bill has sold his company, but most of you are familiar with his products. It's all over stores throughout the country and very well known in the barbecue community. Bill has been diagnosed with brain cancer, but he took the time to speak with me today and it was a true pleasure and honor to interview him and I am, I'm looking forward to sharing this interview with you all. So enjoy the interview and again, thank you very much for watching as usual. All right, well, I was able to uh, track down a big name in barbecue. I'm with Bill Arnold, the founder and owner of Blues Hog, Blues Hog Barbecue Sauce. And most people in barbecue or anyone into barbecue is very familiar with the products. I grew up with these products. My dad is a huge uh, advocate and fan of Blues Hog Barbecue Sauce. So, Bill, thank you so much for giving me a few minutes. It's my pleasure. I'm glad to share uh, anything I've got as far as knowledge or anything on barbecue with anybody, anytime. <laughs> what? It's, it's my life, yes. That, that's awesome. Um, how did you get into, um, how did it evolve to where you just started selling barbecue sauce for a living? Uh, how did how did it evolve to where you established the company? Well, I got hungry, okay? And uh, being from down south, we start cooking at an early age outdoors, okay? Building fires and center block pits, cooking whole hogs for benefits and things. And that's my number one goal. I'm a, uh, a cancer patient. Okay. And my goal is to help as many people as I can uh, as long as I live, yes. And we have a, an annual contest in Tennessee. Okay. It's the Blues Hog Barbecue State Championship, governor sanctioned. Uh, and winner goes to the Jack. And uh, yeah, it's, I, I've just been blessed with so many people uh, using my products. Uh, I, I'm not trying to brag, but yes, we've won more national and international barbecue sauce awards than anybody in the world. Yes, I believe it. It's very well known product. I, fortunately, uh, um, someone stopped by the trailer that I was uh, a friend of mine trailer that I was hanging out at. She was appreciating the uh, uh, the photographs on it and taking a picture. Then I got to talking to her. She said the uh, owner of Blues. She's with the owner of Blues Hog Barbecue Sauce and. My eyes lit up. I said, I got to talk to him. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> well, when Diane Sawyer's eating it right out of the jar with a spoon when we were on Good Morning America, <laughs> you're blessed. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I've had a lot of help getting there. Paul Kirk, all my uh, barbecue friends around the world. And uh, we are in, uh, I don't know how many countries now. I got a picture yesterday of a nice display in Italy of Blues Hog products. And I've just been blessed. And I thank God for, for all that he's done for me and, 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 and opportunity to talk to you and, and the people that we share this with, yes. That's great, that's great. Um, someone mentioned your, uh, also, kind of looking into doing some sort of recipe book any am, anything going on with that yes sir i am writing uh a book uh like i said i'm from the south and we grow up uh learning lots of things different ways that not normal city folks are capable of doing but the thing about it is is blues hog the salt of the earth cookbook is coming out and yes it will sh it will share everything you would ever want to know about uh cooking outdoors grilling smoking uh curing fish pickling fish you name it that's my goal is to come out with that book and show what i know those books do help people i know that for a fact i got into um, barbecuing is one thing um 
But when you're getting into smoking, uh, you know, smoking briskets and chicken and ribs and all that stuff, it, it's intimidating mm-hmm. starting out. And I, there's a select few books. I can't remember off the top of my head, but those books do help um, educate and give you a little bit more of a comfort level, um, letting you know the different strategies and recipes and that sort of thing. I don't like to brag, but I've, I've had the opportunity of showing up at a contest with some people telling me you've got cheese category in 15 minutes and came first place in the world cheese smoking contest in uh, Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, it, it's just you pull it out of your hat, you pull it from experience, you say a prayer and hope that people enjoy it. Well, that's that's awesome. And there's definitely an art to cooking, barbecuing, smoking meats. Um, no question about it, and your products definitely are uh, help people and uh, definitely make people's barbecue that they're trying to make good great, that's for sure. So um, thank you so much for um, agreeing to do this, and I wish you the best at the competition here, and I wish you the best with everything else. I really do appreciate it. If anybody needs anything, any information, wants to go further, I'm available at blueshog at gmail.com. And I'll talk to anybody, anytime, anywhere. That, yeah. That's great. And I'll put your information on uh, on the screen on the video. That way uh, people know how to reach you. Another thing is we do have a contest. It's the uh, governor of Tennessee has made a yearly sanctioned Blues Hog Barbecue State Championship. Okay. And uh, we, we had a great turnout last year, donated a lot of money to St. Jude's, to cancer patients, cancersuckchicago.com, one of Scotty Johnson's uh, foundations. And just, I'm glad to help anybody with my cooking talents as possible. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, sir. It's been great. And I really do appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank take you. Take it easy. Yeah, yep. God bless you. All right. Well, that was my interview with Bill, and that concludes the American Royal Barbecue Competition episode of The Bob Wall Show. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video, and goodbye for now. I will see you guys next week.